uh, bin Laden's dream of dragging the United States into costly, bloody wars. Um, I'm reminded of President Bush, who said so early and so often, we're going to fight him over there so we don't have to fight him over here. He's been largely vindicated on that point, has he not? Well, to your first point, bin Laden's certainly been vindicated. He got two bleeding wars. Uh, whether the $4 trillion is right or wrong, it's been incredibly expensive for the United States of America. And one of those wars, I think historians will look back and, frankly, scratch their head and say, Iraq? Why did we go to war in Iraq? It had nothing to do with 9-11. had nothing to do with al-Qaeda. That's a historical question I think historians will debate for years and years to come. Have we prevented attacks here by going abroad? Certainly. The pressure we're putting on al-Qaeda core in Pakistan today is unprecedented. And it's not just the killing of bin Laden, it's the information that came out of his lair in Abu Tubad, which is leading to these other kills that are coming pretty quickly in its, in its wake. Is it foolproof? Christmas Day 2009, a young Nigerian panicked. If he hadn't panicked, an airplane would have been blown up over Detroit. Would have transformed the United States of America again, I'm pretty sure. It may not have been of the order of magnitude of 9-11, but an American aircraft being destroyed on Christmas Day, that would have been President Obama's worst nightmare of how to end the first term in office.